Hi everyone, it's me, Beatty Kelly Sunflower. So I thought I'd hop on today and do an unboxing, flip through and first impressions of a tarot deck that I've been waiting for for quite a long time. The tarot deck is, an, is a Kickstarter deck. I'm so happy that this has been finally delivered. So let me open this up. I had an option on Kickstarter to order two decks. So me and another tarot tuber went Dutch and ordered two decks to make it cheaper. So I'm going to actually send one of these to the other tarot tuber. It's come with a deck and guide book and then some stickers. So I've got the Five of Cups and the Star card. I know it's just like a nice plain blue box and it's got a lift off. Let me shape this. Okay, and inside the box you get a guidebook which I'll go through in a minute and you get the deck of cards that are kind of like in this lift off compartment. So the guidebook is, let me see how many pages it is, it's 134 pages, it's colour illustrated to the people who contributed to the guidebook, talks about the authors, the editor, the concept and design. This deck could literally not exist without the talent and passion of every single one of our artists. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for believing in this project and sharing your hard work with us. We would also like to thank our incredible backers, without whom this project would never have seen the light of day. Thank you for your faith in us and for loving this project as much as we do. Thank you for Gail A. Anderson, who generously devoted her time and legal advice so we could publish the second edition of the Fat Folk Tarot. Extra shout out to Ashley Jackson and Stephanie Hurst, who ensured the first edition got to everyone on time. Thank you for helping us hand, package and ship all these decks. And then it gives some more acknowledgements. I mean, it says here, Fat Folks Tarot began as a small idea dreamt up between friends in the middle of the night. Neither of us imagined it would transform into the work of art you now hold. Our sincerest thanks go to each and every one of you for making this dream a reality. Ruby and Jordan. So it's got a nice table of contents, which it gives acknowledgements, table of contents, introduction. Chapter one is how to learn tarot. Chapter two is tarot spreads. Chapter three is cha tarot journaling. And when it goes into the cards, the major arcana, the wands, cups, swords, pentacles, card images. So the introduction. The, I, I like the fact that the print is quite readable because I'm finding as I'm getting older, I have I struggle with um, small print. Got a note on positionality, mine and the tarot's. It's interesting. Cards in relation, tarot as your and our stories, title and suit. The suits, tarot numerology, what about the court cards, so it gives quite a lot of information about the court cards, warnings about reading tarot or a note on human nature, then chapter two is about the tarot spreads, it's got a tarot deck introduction spread, it's got six placements. What do you most want me to know before beginning work together? What are you most excited to read about? How do you not want to, to be used? Do you have any quirks or interesting anecdotes I should hear before we start? What about me excites you as you begin the work together? How will we read and work best together? And it's got questions to ask the cards. It's got spread for healing and eat Phobia. I've never heard of that word before, eat phobia. It's a four, four card spread and it's got the where to, where to put the placements. Spread for eat empowerment. Fat and sexy tarot spread. A spread for boundaries and hard conversations. 
passion and focus for activists, artists and more inspired by the Three of Wands. Chapter 3, Tarot Journaling and or Contemplative Prompts. I'm going to give you the card descriptions. So the Major Arcana has got the four. I think this is the artist, Emma Lane Arts, she, they, Instagram, gives you her Instagram handle and a link to her link tree. The four is about limitless and bound potential. They are neither the beginning nor the end, but both. Their innocence allows them to close their eyes, trust the universe and take a leap into the unknown. My version of the four was inspired by Dwayne Bryas, Hilda character. I wanted to match the carefree vibe of the character and show the freeing spirit and adventurous side of her. So there's no pictures, there's no reverse meanings. But, it, you know, it does... I think the artist is the one that kind of has written why they used... the card and what the card means to them so it's an interesting written guidebook and she's got some pictures at the back of some of the cards so instead of having it after every write up it's just at the back you see anything about the artists or the authors no okay so this is the guidebook okay so let's have a look at the cards now So the cards, look at that edging, isn't that gorgeous? Look at beautiful silver edging. So do excuse my now, I had an accident yesterday. So it's a bit thing, but look at that, shiny. Um, I've bought out an Abona weight card to check the size in comparison to an RWS card. And it's, look, it's exactly the same size as a regular RWS The backs are really interesting. They're of large people women mainly some are embracing their body i think it's reversible yep beautiful and it's navy blue which is one of my favorite colors okay the fall the magician I'm really sorry for the noise. Um, the floor sweepers are electrically sweeping the floor. I live in a very busy, useful road, so I do apologise the High Priestess. Oh, look at the Empress. I love how she's breastfeeding her baby and embracing all her womanly figure. That's beautiful. And in her ears, she's got earrings shaped in, in the feminine symbol. Love the Emperor. The Hierophant. So you've got the Lovers. The Chariot and two horses. Or oh, it's an angel actually riding two horses. The Strength card. Some of these cards look kind of cartoonish. The Hermit. He looks mature and wise, going off to contemplate. The Wheel of Fortune. I like how the person's blindfolded so that they're leaving up to nature to determine what direction they're going to fall in. Another cartoonish picture, Justice. The Hanged One. Death. I wonder if this is made by by more than one artist because the artwork isn't consistent throughout the deck. The devil. The tower. The star. The moon.
the sun. I like that it's a woman on a horse. She looks a bit like Wonder Woman, doesn't she, with her boots and judgment and the world. Again, very cartoonish. So moving on to the suit, you've got the suit of wand. Oh, isn't that beautiful? The ace of wands. I love the afro. I love the complexion. I love the sunflower in the hair. The two of wands. It's the three of wands. The four of wands. Seems to be a lot of sunflowers in the wands suit. Five of wands. Six. Seven. Eight of wands. Nine of wands. And the ten of wands. Um. She doesn't look like she's burdened, does she, in this picture? So you've got the page. Oh, I love that night. The Queen of Wands. She's got both a, a lion and a black cat. And the King of Wands. So moving on to the suit of cups, you've got the ace of cups, the two of cups, the three of cups, the four of cups, the five of cups. The Six of Cups, Seven. It's like the choices have been tipped over her. It's an interesting depiction. Eight of Cups, it's beautiful as well. So instead of walking away um, from the things that no longer serve, her emotion is she's pouring them away into the river. I don't like this depiction. It's not, I don't understand it. It's the Nine of Cups. I guess she's got the spotlight on her. And the Ten of Cups. Again, I don't, I don't understand this depiction. So moving on to the court cards, you've got the page, the knight, the queen of cups, and the king of cups. So moving on to the suit of swords, which is my, which is my favourite suit in the deck, or in most decks. So you've got the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords, oh I like this depiction of the Three of Swords, that's very nice. The Four of Swords, I guess she's I don't know if she's taken a rest. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. I'm so I'm so gl glad that there's a um guidebook so I can kind of try and understand the creator's reasoning for, for depicting the cards in such a way. That's why it's important to have a guidebook. Eight of Swords. Again, this is very interesting. 
I, I guess the person is mentally trapped or mentally stuck. Nine of Swords. Again, it's pointing to the head, so it's all in the mind. And the Ten of Swords. But it's interesting because the swords are shaped like crosses, aren't they, on some of them? So you've got the page, the knight, the queen of swords, and the king of swords. So moving on to the suit of pentacles, you've got the ace of pentacles. I like this depiction of the two of pentacles. Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. I like how a lot of these um, archetypes look non-binary. The Five of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles. It's interesting. So you've got the page, the knight, the queen of pentacles, and the king of pentacles. Okay, so before I shuffle the deck and give you my first impression, I want to show you a deck that I think I would pair with this deck. This is called Ahead of the Curve. And the reason why I'd like to pair it is because, because this Oracle deck is affirmations about embracing your body. Ahead of the Curve is a deck of 52 affirmations designed to help you nurture your relationship with your body and cultivate a positive body image. Use them as a daily reminder to embrace and celebrate your unique beautiful body. I used this deck for the whole month of June. I pulled out a daily card. So it, it comes with like a stand and the card that I have today is called Be Belly. Thank you for holding in all my organs and helping me digest. It's um, it's um It gives a positive take on parts of one's body that you might not like. I have been pairing this deck with another deck, which I will show again in my um, June Reflections, but I think it would also pair nicely with the Fat Tarot. Not necessarily for aesthetics, but more for the um, theme of the deck. So, you know, I'm not going to put my life on hold until I reach a certain body weight. And the, and the four's not going to put their life on hold either while they're going to seek an adventure. Struggling with my body image doesn't make me a bad or weak person. I don't like the backs of these cards, but I think the messages combined with the theme of this deck will go really well. I am free to listen to my body's needs and wants rather than following restrictive diets. And that's the same as the High Priestess. She kind of listens to her intuition, doesn't she? And it's got here, I need to be thinner, which is crossed out, smaller, which is crossed out, better, which is crossed out, and myself. So that's about embracing your body and the Empress embraces nature. Today, I choose to feel good about my body. Today, I choose to love myself. And the emperor is also about having confidence, you know, so I think that they suit each other in that manner. 
I choose to wear whatever I want. Fashion celebrates all shapes and sizes. And it pairs nice with the Hereford, which is about traditional kind of beliefs, you know, and so on and so forth. So this is a deck that I think I will pair with it. But I'm going to talk about this deck more in my June favourites video. So let's shuffle this deck and I'll give you my first impression. The cardstock is almost sheeny, um, I would say. Let's give them a shuffle. But or semi-glossy. They shuffle really nice actually, um, overhandedly. And I'm assuming that because they're quite flexible that a riffle or bridge shuffler would also kind of like enjoy the shuffle. So what are my first impressions? The artwork looks different to how it was pictured on Kickstarter, which is not a bad thing. Maybe I just had a different perception on what this deck would look like. It looks like it's a, a mixture of collaborative artists because not because some of the art style is more more cartoonish than others, you know. But I but I do like the artwork. You know, I like that it it embraces larger, fuller figured people. Um, I'm looking forward to doing my interview spread of this deck and to you know, see how we get on. I think I'm going to add this deck to my summer collection because um, the colours are very, very, to me, vibrant. Even though the backs look kind of winterish, <laughs> you know, with, with that midnight blue, um, the cards to me are, are kind of summerish because they've got like a lot of sunflowers depicted in quite a few of the cards. But I guess you can use it all year round, to be quite honest. But I, I intend to use it for the summer. Um, I'm so glad that this deck has come because, as I said before, it's a long-awaited kind of deck. The book is set out quite interest interestingly. I don't know if that's a proper word, but uh, you know the pictures are all at the back instead of being off, instead of being um, included in each explanation. Because I'm a visual reader, I do prefer to see the picture next to the archetype, but that's just my thing. Um, and I'm glad that the artists are the ones that have given the reasons behind their choice of art for each card. Um, and I like that because sometimes, you know, you, you get some decks where the art is really, really quirky and, and, and you can't always understand why that kind of artwork was chosen to depict the archetype. I mean, a lot of artists expect you to be able to read their mind and say, use your intuition. I, I find that quite difficult to use my intuition when I'm trying when I'm trying to figure out why people have used such art, but at least in this book, the artists, by the looks of what I've skimmed through, do do seem to give their reasons why they've used such artwork. But overall, I am very pleased with the deck. I will leave a link in the description bar if this deck is available. I'm not quite sure if it is because it is the second print. I tried endlessly to get the first edition when it first came out so if they are printing a few or they've got a few left over to sell i will leave that link in the description bar thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye for now <laughs>